from Salem Sports Park, it's the Flash Spotlight with defender Brittany Taylor. I started playing when I was about four years old in Snoopy soccer, and my older sister and older brother played, so kind of just followed in their footsteps and felt like we were just a big soccer family and kept playing and progressively then went to high school, on to college, and then got here. Growing up, I played as a forward, so Mia Hamm was something, somebody that I looked up to a lot. Um, I think that that's who I really did um, look up to and inspire to be. And then as I got older and uh, turned into a defender, uh, Christy Rampone is somebody who I actually got to become very close friends with and kind of mentor. So as I got older, it switched to her. Well. <laughs> Uh, it was probably when I was in middle school. I was playing in an indoor tournament and there was like one little break in the glass. We were playing in like a hockey rink and of course I went to clear the ball and hit it and it went flying through the gla glass and hit my mom in the face and literally broke her nose out of everybody in the stands. So I think that was kind of funny after the fact but not during it. <laughs> Probably uh, because it was kind of something that I've always wanted to do was when I earned my first cap with the senior national team. I was actually in a really big snowstorm in Salt Lake City, Utah. So it was really funny because there was two inches of snow on the ground and um, I was able to go in the last about 20 minutes of the game. So it was really exciting and took a little bit of pressure off because it was fun to play in the snow. But I think that that was one of the best moments because it was kind of everything has come for full circle and you know just to be able to get that and, and earn that was really cool. My roommate and I, roommate and I Catherine, make um, pasta and chicken and I make a homemade sauce. I think the biggest thing is just um, work rate and being able to train hard every day and just put in the work and it's very difficult to play at a high level and balance the the pressures of um, social social stuff and just understanding that if you really want to make it sometimes you have to give and take certain things and um, just staying focused and and keep your goal ahead of you and, and stay focused on that Anything with Adam Sandler, I actually think is hilarious. They're really funny. Billy Madison is good, Happy Gilmore, all of those are really funny. I'd have to go with, it's kind of curveball, Jay-Z Song Cry. It's a little bit different from my personality, but. I'd have to go with pasta. To go on a non-soccer one, I think, uh, Derek Jeter is pretty cool from the Yankees just from a leadership standpoint and, you know, has just built a great reputation around him. I think that's pretty cool. Well, besides the grocery store, <laughs> if I go shopping, um, maybe mm, Banana Republic. New York Yankees. Anything, usually Jay-Z. Yeah, I went in again playing um, as a forward my freshman and half of my sophomore year, and my coach decided with the youth national team I played as an outside back. They were trying to convert me into that, and we were winning a game by a lot, and he decided to take myself and two of our other teammates, a center mid and a forward, and said, you guys get to play in the back. And unfortunately, we actually did very well. And uh, he kind of was just like, oh, this might be able to work. And then kind of just made the transition there. Um, as well as during the summer at home, I was just training and doing more stuff with that. Because with the national teams, that's kind of where they were looking to have me. And then turned into a center back for all of my junior year. Yeah, I mean... The biggest 
difference I find obviously is like um, being a forward obviously you get to score goals and have a little bit more glory and stuff but I love being a defender because at the end of the day you know um, you get to prevent things and it's just a little bit more challenging and and hard nosed and I feel that I'm a lot more competitive with it so I like it. Well, I'm the middle child of the girls, where there's four of us. I have an older brother, older sister, and younger sister. Um, everybody's played soccer. Um, my parents are my biggest supporters, and my grandma, she's going to be 91 in June, and she's like my, again, like one of my biggest supporters and has always been there for me, so I'm very close with her, and my dad's the same way. Just everybody is so supporting and loving, and... Um, which is a big soccer family. <laughs> it's a funny one. I think probably we used to, my sisters when we were younger, used to turn on the music and just like dress up and dance like crazy people. It was really funny. And my dad never liked to do it, so we would always like make him embarrassed <laughs> and make him like dance and do funny stuff. I think that was always really fun. Yes, actually, uh, my boyfriend and I, Jesse, own, well, he started, that's how I met him. Um, it's called Quick Strike FC, and it's a whole youth soccer program, just kind of like the Flash Academy up here. And we have teams from U10 training groups um, all the way up to U19 right now. So um, it's mainly a girls program, um, but Jesse had started it back in 2006, and then we met that year and then have kind of just teamed up and that's what I do in my spare time. Love coaching and working with the kids and stuff. Yes, so this started, well hopefully soon, if you're watching Jesse, <laughs> um, but he um, was at the WPS draft with me and when I got drafted to Sky Blue in the WPS and they asked me a question and I said, hopefully soon, and they kind of took it and completely changed it into their own words and said I was engaged. But, I mean, we've been together for a long time, six or seven years now. So we live together and we actually just got a house at home. So it's pretty much the same. <laughs> I think that... Uh, that some people get surprised that I like listening to more of like hip hop rap type of music and not really like Jay-Z and different things like that. They say it doesn't go with my personality. <laughs> Probably already married with a family and <laughs> be, a, be a home mom or teaching. Teaching is really something that I want to do eventually. Actually, it would be um, in Greece. Um, Jesse's family owns an estate there that has its own church. It's right over, look, overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. So I would love to be able to do that and be so close to Italy that kind of have like a long extended reception weekend type of a thing. Verizon. Summer. Beyonce. <laughs> In sync. <laughs> oh man. That's a tie. But I'm gonna have to go with the voice because we have voice parties. Tickets for all 2013 home games are available at WNYflash.com or by calling the Salem Stadium box office at 585-454-KICK.